Hey guys, welcome back to the prediction series of Mario Galaxy 3. I was not too happy with the original result of the Galaxy ideas, so I'm going to redo them this time, and I'm not going to redo the part 2 because I found I found it quite good. And I'm going to do part 3 um, soon anyway, and it's going to be on the characters and maybe the plot anyway. So, I'm going to get straight into the video. So, in this game, I would like Mario to return to Rosalina's Observatory. So, this is going to be the galaxies in the terrace. So, the first galaxy would be Bad Egg Galaxy. So, it's going to be completely different from Good Egg Galaxy. So, it would it would be that there's huge gas storms. And then Mario would have to acquire a power of, like, the egg mask. So, then he wouldn't die from breathing in the gas. So... Um, this would require him to get past a couple uh, layers of gas and stuff like that. And then he um, will get the star. So, yeah, I think that's a good idea. The second galaxy will be Bianco Hills Galaxy. And that will be floating in space. And you will be able to use the flood pack in this galaxy. Because you don't get to use the flood pack in new, new Mario games. And then the boss battle would be Petey Prana. Where you'd have to fill up his mouth and ground pound his belly button like the original Mario Sunshine. It would be really cool to visit that again. The third galaxy would be Sand Storm Saucer Galaxy. And it would be like Beach Ball Galaxy, but except it's a complete desert. And then you would have things like sandworms going around everywhere and cactuses um, with legs growing out of their pots trying to hit you. And if you hit into one, you'd lose a life. And in instead of penguins being your friends, camels would be your friends. And the, the sand would act like... The sand would act like um, the water, so then you could ride the camels and their legs would sink into the sand, but their body would stay afloat. And if Mario tried to go in the sand, it would sink in and die. So that would be a good idea, I think. So the final galaxy in the terrace is Mega Bros Moon. And there'd be two Mega Legs, but they're slightly smaller. And one would be red and orange. Red for danger and orange for fire. He, and the orange one would spew fire out instead of bullet bills. The red one would spew out homing bullet bills. So that would be a good idea, I think, and it would bring you back to the first Mario Galaxy. So the next one would be the Fountain, and the first galaxy in the Fountain would be Spout Springs Galaxy. The reason why you're not seeing a picture here is because I couldn't find a picture. So anyway, this would have loads of water sprouts, and the whole world would be water. So then, if Mario went over a water sprout, it would spring him up in the air, and then the only thing that would help him go downwards is a cloud. So if he went up too far, he'd get swar like swarmed into a black hole. So... Anyway, uh, the cloud, if he stood on, if he got pushed into a cloud, the cloud would bring him down. But when it's bringing him down, it would start raining, which would fill up the whole water, well, the whole water spout place, you know, spout springs. And when you fill up the whole place, it'll be full enough, so then you would be able to jump up and get the star. So I think that would be a good galaxy. The next galaxy would be Jungle Hijinx Galaxy from Donkey, Donkey Kong Country. Um... It's kind of self-explanatory, but you'd be able to swing from vine to vine. I think it would be cool, because I haven't really seen a jungle galaxy before. So, yeah. The next galaxy would be Dry Bones Catacombs. It would be full of dry bones and loads of other enemies to do with bones and skeletons. There would have bone goombas. It would be full of bones, obviously. And then a boss battle could be Dry Bowser, which could be the dead Bowser from Super Mario World. So, that would be cool. So, the next one is to do with the kitchen. And... The first galaxy for the kitchen is Dinner Time Galaxy. It would have loads of forks and knives trying to like eat at you, like slice at you because it's dinner time. And this is like this could be a thing because there is a huge giant cake in Mario Galaxy One. So yeah, I think this idea is pretty cool. So yeah, the next galaxy would be a haunted hotel galaxy, and you could use lifts to go up and down the rooms, and you would race against spooky speedster with Boo Mario. So I think that would be cool. Now on to the engine room. The first galaxy in the engine room would be Piston Pumps Galaxy, where it's a huge engine and you'd have to climb it up. The chain, climb up the chains, um, like pistons would be moving up and down, wheels would be spinning. You could get crushed very easily by a piston moving up and down. So yeah, that would be really cool. So the next galaxy will be where Mario can jump on an ant enemy and he'd get the Ant Mario power up. And if he jumped down a huge ant hill, then he, it would lead him to ant city and it would be a huge city where ants are it's not cars but ants would just be running around the roads and it would just be really cool to explore as ant mario because ant mario would shrink him down allowing him to jump down the ant hill so yeah 
That galaxy would be really cool for me anyway. It would be really cool if it was designed like Bowser City. We're on to the final world, the bedroom. So the first galaxy in the bedroom would be Duvet Delights Galaxy, where loads, like the, there's a huge house, that, so Mario's really small, this would be great use of the ant power up, and then he'd be able to jump on, like so the ground is everything that you walk on is literally as soft as a duvet, but it would be bouncy, so then you'd be able to jump up the stairs, because you're so small you wouldn't be able to just go up them normally, so you'd have to spring off the floor up the stairs, and then the, and then the star would be on the bed, because it's duvet delight, if you don't know what duvet is, Obviously, you probably do, but if you don't know what it is, it's a blanket. So the next galaxy would be Sunset Seaside Galaxy. It's really hard to say, but it would be designed like Seaside Galaxy from the original Mario game, except it would be in the sunset, so that would be really cool. It would be like the design of that one level in Mario 3D World, I can't remember. But anyway, uh, it would be really cool, like the sunset in the background and you're running on a beach because it is kind of a beach it's just this huge water circle with land so yeah that is one of the last levels but onto the last level in well onto the last galaxy in the game well one of the last galaxies the final galaxy in the bedroom would be nightmare dash galaxy it would be really fast galaxy where loads of creepy stuff would be chasing you it would be really fast paced there's only be one or two stars here because it would be extremely fast there'd be cosmic clones chasing you everywhere and yeah so the final place where you have a showdown with bowser would be a remake of road to bowser from mario 64 it would be way harder than the original because the original was only the first bowser fight and um, but this road to Bowser would be like really hard, and then there it would be nearly as hard as Champions Road, and that from Super Mario Three D World, and it would be a, have another remix. Even though this has already had three, um, it's just it would be really good like to make another really cool remix. Like I love the music, um, from this level. So yeah, that's that. So if you beat Bowser. You should be able to unlock a secret world, which is Starship Mario from Mario Galaxy Two, and you'd be able to explore everywhere and maybe they could even add a bit more to Starship Mario but if they don't um they should make some secret worlds uh, I meant secret galaxies so anyway um you guys can make them up in the comments cuz I have done it I think I've done enough work for one day so thank you guys for watching I've put a lot of work into this video please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already so I've been inspired to do this video by a youtuber called nathaniel bandy he's a really good youtuber and could you guys um subscribe to him like i know that barely you, any of you watch me anyway so anyway <laughs> why do i make these videos then anyway you guys get it so thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and i will do part three before this week ends anyway it will be about the plot and the characters of mario galaxy 3 and I'll add this all to a playlist, so if you want to check it out. I have made an original video of this, but that was the original and I wasn't happy with it. So this is the new one, and my my like I kind of like this better. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!